Hey, it's good to see you. Oh, are you sure that's a good idea? Come on, it's like 90 degrees outside and you want to wear a black hoodie? Seriously? <laughs> You're already sweating. You should take it off before you overheat. Well, if you're sure you can handle it, just uh, be sure to drink lots of water, okay? Yeah, it's great to come out on the old bike trail again. We haven't been here in like, four months? <laughs> exactly. Way too long. Personally, I blame global warming for making the weather so awful. Are you ready? Then let's get going. You know, we haven't really talked much in the past couple weeks. How come? No, I'm not upset. I'm just curious. You know, usually you really send me a meme or something every few days. Have you been busy lately? Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, life has a habit of getting in the way at the worst of times. Well, what's the holdup back there? Are you tired? You're slowing down quite a bit. Alright, just let me know if we need to stop. I really don't mind. Nah, you know, my life's been pretty normal lately. Nothing too fancy going on. Oh, but my sister got the part of Snow White. Yeah. She's going to be lead in that one night production the theater's putting on. The performance is just a couple months from now. I was thinking we could both watch her together. You know, she was always happy to see you when you came over when we were kids. I don't think that soft spot for you has gone away. Don't worry, I'll buy the tickets. Just bring yourself and maybe some money for snacks. Whoa, I know you would like to show off, but try to stay on the path, will ya? These bikes are not built for off-roading. Are you alright? You look... Okay, if you're being honest, you look like you're zoning out a bit. And you're swerving a ton. We really can take a break, I don't mind. Fine, just pace yourself, okay? <sighs> Please don't overdo it. Oh, hey, did you hear about the new Chicken Express they just built? Have you been there yet? Oh, I wish. I don't have the money to eat out that kind of place. But I hope to try it soon. I have heard really good things about their roles. Okay, you know what? We need to stop. You look like you're about to pass out. Drink some water. Seriously. Thank you. Now get that stupid hoodie off. You're going to melt if you keep it on any longer. Why are you being so defensive? If you're insecure about your body or something, you know I won't judge. And there's no one else here to see. Seriously, just give me the stupid hoodie. You need to take that thing off before... Whoa, are you okay? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, thank God you woke up. Are you okay? Does anything hurt? Are you feeling too hot? <sighs> you had me worried there. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I brought you home. Now, don't worry about it. Your car is in the driveway, and I can just bike back to mine later. What's the last thing you remember? Well, <sighs> you did wake up for a couple seconds after that. Although you were talking about a bunch of nonsense. I don't even know if it was just word salad or you were just exhausted. I think you were delirious. After I made you drink some water, I took off your hoodie. And from there I brought you to your car and drove you back home. I laid you down on your couch and you fell asleep for like two hours. 
Oh, by the way, I cranked your AC way down. So if your bill comes in a little high this month, um, figure out a way to pay you back. Before we talk about that, just drink some water. There's a cup on the table. <sighs> Thank you. I, um, I now understand why you want to keep the hoodie on. Yeah, those, uh, scars. You know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but did you do that to yourself? Why, why would you do that? I... Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, I, I shouldn't hug you while you're this is so heated. I just... Was it the first time you've done this, or have you done it more than once? How long have you been feeling this way? Well, why didn't you tell me? If I, if I would have known, I... No, no, no. I'm not mad at you. I promise. I, I understand why you didn't want to tell anyone. I just... Are you okay? <laughs> listen, listen. If you ever, and I mean ever, need anyone to talk to, I'm right here. I promise I will never judge you or, or tell anyone else what you tell me. I just, just please. Please don't fight this alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I got a little bit emotional there. It's just, you know, I was, I was really worried about you. And I can't believe this has been going on for so long and I didn't know. I'm, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't realize sooner. I am, I am really, really sorry. If I'm being honest, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know the right words or how to approach this, but I do know I care for you. You're my best friend. And it hurts me to see you like this. Why are you apologizing? No, never apologize for how you feel. It is not your fault. I... I I'm sorry for getting aggressive there. It's just, you don't have to feel sorry for anything, okay? I want you to make me a promise. If you ever feel like you're about to harm, call me, okay? And I mean it. I don't care if I'm at work or if I'm running errands or whatever. It's the middle of the night. I want you to call me. It is... So much better than the alternative. And I will come over right away. Can you promise you'll call? Thank you. That, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, is there anything you want me to take when I leave? Oh, don't worry. I won't leave until you're ready. But, you know, should I... Take all the cutlery with me or something, you know, to keep it away from you. Don't worry. I know a great place that sells these plastic sporks. You're going to love it. I, I know you hate to create unnecessary waste, but what's a few more microplastics compared to your safety? Hmm? Bad timing? I know. I'm sorry. I just, I wanted to lighten the mood a little. Will you please look at me? These, these are your battle scars. It's from your fight with depression. And I know you've been fighting so hard for so long now, but it's okay. Because you're not fighting alone anymore. You have me. And I will stand 
by your side every time this monster rears its ugly head. I promise. If you ever have a bad day, or you need me to help you get stuff done, just let me know, and I'll do my best to help out. What's good having a boyfriend if you can't do that, right? I know you do the same for me. <sighs> Listen, I think we should take it easy for the rest of the day. You've been through a lot. Well, uh, let me cook for you tonight, okay? Ah, oh, come on. I'm a great chef. I've only started, like, one kitchen fire this year. No, well, two. <laughs> There's your smile. I'm happy to see it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll door dash us something tonight. Dinner's on me. Thank you for letting me help you. It takes guts. Okay. You know what? You've been going on and on about the new season of Jujutsu Kaisen. How about we watch some of that? Yeah! <laughs> I can't wait to see how it ends. <laughs>